up guys? I wanted to go over today what to feed your micro mini pig or your pot belly pig. First off, there's a debate whether or not there is a micro mini pig. Some people say there is, some people say there isn't. I don't care about all that. I bought my first pig several years ago from the same lady that sold uh, Chad Ochocinco and Rob Deerdick their pig at Hidden Valley Farms. You can find them on the web somewhere. But I was a former store manager for a major uh, pet company. And we always got people coming in and asking what to feed their pig. And I didn't see any like searches on the results on YouTube, so I figured I'd, I'd make a video of what you can feed your pig and what you can feed your pig if you want to make your own food and save a bunch of money. Whether you got a little itty bitty pig like my Olivia here, maybe you got you a big old pot belly like this guy here. First off, if you want an easy to go to food that's ready to go right out of the bag, made for your pig, you want to go with a Missouri brand food, which you can find here at Tractor Supply, any kind of feed store. And what you're gonna look for with that is you'll notice on the bag, it has the active adult there, which they make in youth, active adult, and elder. Youth you feed from zero to four months, which has higher protein, higher fat, and uh, DHA, and stuff like that for brain development. The active adult you feed from four months to three years. That's when the pig's growing and has added protein and fat. And then from elder, which it seems weird that a pig will be elder at three years, you want to go to the elder food because it cuts off the fat and so much protein. And if not, that's how you end up with a big, huge pig. And do not overfeed your pig. And for sure, don't underfeed your pig to keep it small. Now, I'm going to tell you guys, when you get a pig, for the first four months you have it, first four to six months, please feed it the Missouri youth food. It has everything they need. Don't try to save money. Now, your pig's going to get a little bigger. Even though they stay small, they weigh a lot more and they need a lot more protein and stuff. So they're going to start eating you out of the house. One of the problems you're going to have with this food is it's only 25 pounds and it costs about 15 to 17 dollars which you could make hundreds of pounds of food for a fraction of the price in the long run. And I'm gonna show you how to do it. Now I'm gonna show you a couple things you can do to make your own pig food. You're gonna be buying in bulk. One of the things you'll need is horse pellets, 12% horse pellets or 12% protein horse pellets. You don't want sweet pellets. It has too much fat and it'll just blow your pig up. Another thing is, and the horse pellets by the way are about 12 bucks a bag for 50 pounds. Other thing you'll need is cracked corn. That's about $7.99 for 50 pounds. And the final thing you'll need is rolled oats. A little bit more expensive at $19.99 for 15 pounds, but only one fifth of the mixture goes into that. So you're only using one fifth of the other bags to make it. I wanted to show you guys the individual ingredients here. Uh, this is the 12% horse pellets. What that means is it has 12% protein and it's not the sweet feed. Please do not feed the sweet feed. I just keep saying this is a lot of people skip through videos. If you start feeding your pig sweet feed throughout the years, it's gonna blow up quick. Not sweet feed. This is what the bag looks like. Got this from Tractor Supply. You'll notice the 12% horse pellet. Any other off-brand or wherever you buy it should look something like that. look at what it looks like here just a pelleted simple food it's 50 pounds for about 12 bucks again not the sweet feed see you got to look for it see the sweet feed looks almost the same right, the second ingredient you'll need is rolled oats not the kind you get from like the grocery store but the kind you get from the feed store again these are from tractor supply They're about $19 a bag uh, for 50 pounds which is good because you only put one-fifth of the mixture of these in, so you only have to buy one bag of these for every five of the rest of the stuff. I'll give you a first off look at what they look like. A little different than your normal oatmeal. They're more oblong. And look at the bag. Nothing special to it. 50 pounds. Just plain rolled oats. The third ingredient you'll need is plain cracked corn. It's about $7.99 a bag for 50 pounds. Uh, it just kind of adds flavor. The pig goes crazy for it. But the corn is so high in like a greasy, fatty material, you don't want to use a whole lot. So I buy a 50 pound pack of that. I just throw a little portion of a handful in it just to make the, the food appealing to the pig and it, it never fails, he loves it. He even gets to the point where if I don't put it in there, he'll come running back and won't eat it. Put it in there, he's fine, he loves it. 
I don't have a bag with me to show you, so I'm gonna put a picture on there now and show you what that looks like. There's the cracked corn, just make sure you don't get the whole corn. You'll probably hear the little piglet in the background. The general scale for feeding your pig is one to two percent. So if you have a pig that weighs 50 pounds, you'd want to feed it about a pound. If you have a pig that weighs 100 pounds, you want to feed it two pounds. I like to feed mine at 2% unless he looks like he's gaining weight, then I'll cut him back a little bit, but he's not very happy. All right, now for mixing your food. So you got all your three things set up. You're gonna wanna take, this is the ratio. First find out what you need to feed your pig. For every one cup of the horse feed or horse pellets, not sweet, again, if you forward this, not sweet horse feed, your pig will get huge. For every one cup of horse feed, you put in one fourth to one fifth cups of rolled oats and then just for flavor not too much or your pig again will get huge just add a little cracked corn a little handful in there if it's a big amount a little sprinkle in there if it's a small amount that's gonna give that flavor that draws your pig they're gonna love it not too much of the corn not too much of the oats it's just a filler for vitamins and stuff and it's great the Missouri uh, their number one ingredient is corn, and when you're making this new new food, your number one ingredients are going to be wheat, soy, alfalfa, oats, way better food, way less cost. Think about the math, how much you're mixing, how much it costs versus how much if you were buying the Missouri in bulk of 15 at a time. You can have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of pounds of food for just buying a few bags. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I hope this helped at least one person out, out there. If it did, Please leave a like, please leave a comment. I make these videos just to help people. Just one little comment means the most. And best of luck to you and your little piggy. Hope you guys had the best of life together. And much love, thanks. Hey, you've been a it's got me reminiscing on good times. I'm turning off a real life driving, that's right. I'm hitting easy street on the time. And I'm feeling like a million dollars Stacked up all hundred dollar bills Got a whole six pack on ice But I'm riding on the hottest wheel Seat back and I'm curving, swerving With my pedal to the metal like I'm racing Turn it up and let the speaker scream for Mr. Aldean But I